for more than two centuries, vaccines have saved billions of lives. Vaccines now prevent more than 20 life-threatening diseases, including polio and measles. Smallpox, which throughout history has killed around 300 million people, and rhinopest, the only animal disease with a 100% death rate, have been globally eradicated through the use of vaccines. Each year, immunisation saves 2 to 3 million lives, and it's an essential public health tool. Since the coronavirus pandemic began, healthcare systems globally have been overwhelmed. But it was also a period marked by advances in a myriad of new vaccine technologies. Less than 12 months after the outbreak began, several pharmaceutical companies had developed vaccines. The Pfizer-BioNTech mRNA vaccine was said to have an efficacy of 95%. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which contains a piece of modified vector virus, was discovered to be 66% effective. And the Chinese Sinovac vaccine was classed with an efficacy rate of 51% against symptomatic SARS-CoV-2 infections. Despite rising death tolls and hospitalizations, anti-vaccine movements fueled by misinformation and skepticism spread around the world. A survey released in Ibio Medicine shows that France stands out as the most skeptical nation when it comes to the safety and effectiveness of the vaccine. And they are far from alone. Russia shows strong reservation, while the US, China, Italy and Greece are close behind. Although vaccine limit not just the number of people who can die, but also the number of people who can get sick. Deploying them to every corner of the world is the greatest challenge of all. WHO data shows more than 11 billion doses have been administered globally, and 65% of the world population has received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. Africa has the lowest vaccination rate of any continent, Underdeveloped countries rely on an international vaccine-sharing arrangement called COVAX, which was set to provide 2 billion doses by the end of 2021. The arrangement failed due to the export bans and vaccine hoarding by wealthy nations. More than 80% of the population of Africa is yet to receive a single dose. Much of this inequity has been driven by the fact that globally vaccine production is concentrated in a few mostly high-income countries. New figures from People's Vaccine Alliance reveal that BioNTech, Moderna and Sinovac make $1,000 in profit each and every second. Despite that, the world's poorest countries, including Burundi and Madagascar, remain largely unvaccinated. Since vaccine inequality is still taking place, Health workers and authorities across the globe are highlighting the need for collective action in the hopes of providing a long life for all, which just so happens to be the slogan for this year's World Immunization Week. Rumeisa Chodar, TRT World.